joined by some slightly less conventional vehicles and one mechanical genius, Ed China. Ed, a big welcome to Fifth Gear. Thanks very much. Now, this sofa of yours isn't exactly a sofa, is it? No, it's the world's first street legal sofa, in fact. You nutter. Well, you, you built it all, didn't you? I did indeed. It was actually based on a 1300 automatic Mini and it was the, the first thing to get a world record for fastest furniture, 87 miles an hour. 87 miles an hour. <laughs> but 10 years on, yes. you have just built this well, to I try have. and break your own record. Yeah, it was a bit weird. It was kind of, <laughs> I wanted it to happen, but I kind of didn't, you know? And so, what speed did this reach? 92 miles an hour. Wowza. You know, we actually spun out on the first practice and then we you got it together on the straights, it was fine, so it was okay. Okay, talk me through it. Three seats, well, just like a McLaren. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Gordon will be proud. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got actually moving Moving pedals, depending on how big or small somebody is when okay. they're getting in. So, and a clutch, so manual gearbox. Manual gearbox, four speed, kind of based loosely on a Volkswagen, but it's a bit tougher now. Yep. And a tiny steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, we make it more like a go kart. Okay, yeah, then easy fine. Handy. Um, now, round the back, Ed. Why is the engine not in the vehicle? I kind of run out of room. There's all mm. kinds of other systems. You've got the gearbox itself, the fuel tank, and some other bits and pieces from the original racing car. So it's a three and a half litre V8. It needs some space. It needs some air, you know? And it also needs to stop. How does it stop? It's, it's okay on mm. the straight. It's got discs on the front, but it has got some old school drums on the back. Yeah. So it's not ideal. But, you know, again, it's so wide, the air does a lot of slowing down. <laughs> and is this it now? Are you going to hang up your sofa boots? Absolutely not. I just can't shake it. So what I'm going to do is put it into production so anybody can have one. Fantastic. How much is it going to cost? It's about £75,000, I think. A bargain. Absolutely. It's handmade to your specification. Brilliant. But here in the car park, we are rejoined by Ed China. Hello, Ed. <laughs> and his fastest sofa in the world. Ed wants to put this sofa into production, so I have Britain's youngest road tester to check for its road legality. Handbrake off. Here we go. Lots of lock, lovely. Yeah, that's fine. Just oh. making a bit more space Is now. that how you drive? That's how I park. I'm a bit Parisian in my parking, <laughs> which means I just run into stuff. Oh, Whoops. my word. It's a daisy. <laughs> mirrors, mirrors. It's mirrors. actually quite manoeuvrable. It does sound rather fruity, I've got to say. <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that. I don't even know where the... There it is. I think I'm in. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Reverse well done, parking man. your sofa! Yes! Oh, so nice you're going to buy one then? Yeah! yeah. yeah absolutely! Fantastic. A few minor tweaks, Ed, but then you've got the perfect product. Well, thank you. However, I would not have you as my sofa chauffeur, you nutter. Scaredy cat. Yeah, I am.